Hey, it's LSFT here today, and today we're here to look at the Qi wireless charger again. But really, I'm just looking at two new cases that I've purchased to see if that has improved the Qi wireless charging on the 2022 Lexus NX. All right, so last time when I was talking about my my Pixel 6 Pro and it was not working with the case logic case and um, it was actually charging well when I was using the original Google uh, case but unfortunately that case is starting to get a bit old and it's starting to fall apart so I had to find a replacement so now I actually went and went to Amazon and purchased this I would say SpyGen ST001 and this is supposed to be one of the thinnest case that is available on the market for them uh, from them and we'll see if this is actually going to work or not so I'll put the phone into the case and see if it actually will fit into uh, if it actually will charge or not so now the phone's in the case. All right. And now I'm going to put it down onto the Qi wireless charger. Okay, now it's 52%. And now it's start charging. I'll let it charge and set it for like a minute or two while this fast forwards and I'll let you know how it went. All right, so now you see that it has continuously been able to charge and doesn't seem to be having any problems with this case. So the case does really cause it to have issues. So right now the battery charge is at 54%. So between this time, it actually did get charged for about 2% of the phone itself. So not too bad. It actually charges quite fast. And it does say it charges wirelessly and it will be full. Let me see what it says here. It, it will be full in one hour and 31 minutes all right so um meaning uh google 6 pro around 50 percent it will take an hour and 30 minutes to charge it to 100 percent hopefully this is helpful for some folks who actually have the google 6 pro and have this wireless charger and is having issues with it maybe a case will be able to solve that problem um, but for the iPhone crew, uh, unfortunately, I still haven't been able to find something to make this charger work with the phone by itself. Uh, other than taking it, making it nude and actually just using the phone and no case at all. And also making it so it will not slip around. And then it will charge with this charger. Since this case worked well with the Google Pixel Pro, I'm going to try it now with the iPhone 14 Pro and see what that does. Alright, today I'm here looking at this new case that I purchased. This is supposed to be a thinner case for the iPhone 14 Pro and I wanted to see if it actually works with this Qi wireless charger. So if you come in here, you can see it's a magnetic case for iPhone MagFit SpyGen a magnetic case for iPhone and this one is actually uh, considered thin um, so you can see that there is a bulge for the camera that's to protect the camera itself and that will lay right here so let's see if it actually will charge or not okay so you can see that this is where the MagSafe the charger is supposed to be and I won't put the phone on it right now so iPhone 14 Pro I'm going to put it on.
Okay, so put the case on. You can see that the cameras, the protection of it. And let me now just put it on and see what happens. So first thing is, you would see here that it says charging. And you see that yellow light. Let's see how long it takes before it actually stops charging. Or it actually will continue to charge. Let's see what happens. Okay, you can see that it started to blink. And on the Lexus interface, the Qi icon stopped and it says charging has stopped and just kept on blinking again so lifted it up putting it back down give it one more try okay this time it had a green light and it just said charging stopped. You can see that. Oh, there we go. It's charged again. Let's see. Okay. It still gave up and it blinked. So there we have it. Even with a, such a thin case, it seems to not work. It's a, quite unfortunate. Oh, and now you see it started to charge again. Let's see if it worked or, works or not. Nope. So it just keeps on giving up and saying, nope, it cannot charge. And I think if you leave it there, maybe it'll start trying again. So you can see that there's actually a pattern. It blinks three times, there's a pause. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please comment, like, and share this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that alert button to get notified when new videos are posted. If you'd like to support the channel, you can definitely provide a super thanks. I'll see you guys again next time in the next video.